Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Mage. Today I have taken an interesting problem which involves your understanding about kinematics as well as a little bit of Newton's laws of motion. So let's try and solve this problem. In the setup shown, a thread is taught between a nail A on a wall and a nail B on an inclined plane as shown in the figure. So here we have two supports, nail A and nail B, that is as shown in the figure. You can change the length of the thread by changing location of the nail B. So here one can change the length of the thread. Suppose if I take L is the length of the thread, L is the length of the thread from A to B, we can change this length by changing the location of the point B on the inclined surface. A bead that can slide on the thread without friction is released from the nail A. So we are going to release a bead from the point A on over this particular thread which is frictionless and it will slide all the way to B. So what should be the length of the thread so that the bead reaches the nail B in the shortest time? Dear students, to solve this problem, one should observe like the configuration properly. Once we recognize that, then all we have to do is find the effective acceleration along the thread. Okay, once if we have effective acceleration along the thread, we can use kinematical equations to generate like a condition on time. Once we have the time, then we can use calculus to optimize the time. So that's the plan. Okay, so let's go ahead and complete this. So we have here this is point A, this is point A here, and this is point B. I'll be just highlighting that. And h is the height we have here. This is h is the height, and theta is the angle given in the question. This is theta. Now, see, we can say now that suppose. If we drop one perpendicular, see I'm just dropping one perpendicular like this. If we drop one perpendicular, okay, this is 90 degrees, then it is obvious that we have to choose the point B to be below this point or where we are dropping the normal. Suppose if I name this as point C, you know that the new location of the point B should be between point O to point C. Somewhere it should be between point O to point C so that we can ensure the shortest time. Okay, so to get that, let me just drop one more line. Say I am just attaching the location here. Imagine this is a new location of B. Okay, so if we consider that, then our so called thread would be attached between A to B like this. A to B dash. Just joining it roughly. Okay. This is a straight line. I'm joining from A to B dash. Now, once we get A to B dash, then let me name the angle that we have between the vertical and this string A to B dash, right? That is angle phi, let's say. That is angle phi. Then we can identify easily that if this is theta, then the overall angle from here to here that is going to be theta only because here it is theta. Angle between the lines will be equal to angle between their perpendiculars. So we can easily identify that. Once we get that, then what about this angle? This angle is going to be theta minus phi. Theta minus phi. So that's the angle we have here. Okay, so once we mark all these things, then we can identify that suppose if there is a bead here, if I consider this a bead, a yellow color dot, it will be subjected to gravitational pull downwards like this, vertically downwards. Mg. If that is the case, then we are already marking here the angle as phi. 
so even this angle becomes phi only okay so using that the effective acceleration along the along the thread the effective acceleration effective acceleration along the thread is going to be mg mg cos phi is the force divided by mass so effective acceleration is g cos phi okay so i'm here using phi as the variable as phi changes we know that acceleration will change so we have acceleration equals g cos phi let me name this as equation one okay then the ac line a to c perpendicular right that is equal to we can write h cos of theta that is correct to for relating this oa with ac okay then that is also equal to suppose if i name a to b dash as length l l cos of theta minus phi l cos of theta minus phi is also equal to ac so this is our second equation okay now what next the time taken to slide l amount of distance okay will be 2l by the effective acceleration this is the time taken to slide from a to b dash okay time taken to slide time taken to slide from a to b dash location which is going to be this much okay now we need this t should be minimum t and the variable which we have in our control where we are going to change is phi phi is the variable okay we keep changing the phi variable so that correspondingly acceleration will change from equation one and also we know that l will also change from equation two from equation two we can get that okay now i will plan to optimize this time by differentiating it with respect to phi so dt by d phi is uh, 1 by 2 root of 2l by phi 2l by a sorry 2l by a and again differentiation of that would be d by d phi of l by a i'm just writing what step by step so this two getting cancelled out we can write this one as uh, root of a by 2l times of d by d phi of l by a we need to differentiate this i'll be moving to the next slide dt by d phi is equal to we have root of a by 2l root of a by 2l times we have here this division rule we will differentiate that denominator into differentiation of the numerator with respect to phi minus numerator into differentiation of the denominator whole thing divided by a squared right so 1 by a squared will come here okay and for extremum you know that this particular equation should be equal to 0 for extremum and in our case this extremum is going to be the minimum time possible okay so here a cannot be infinity and all okay and l is also not infinity or a is not equal to zero so we can say that this is possible if a times of dl by d phi is equal to l times of da by d phi this is a condition we got for extremum fine now you can call this as equation three equation one two we have that is equation three now i'll be using equation one and two to generate those required parameters in equation 3 and we will substitute in equation 3 to get the condition or we know already the condition we are trying to relate and get the other factors okay let's see how it turns out so we need dl by d phi correct so to get dl by d phi i'll be using equation 2 okay equation 2 Using equation 2, we have uh, h cos theta. h cos theta equals L cos of theta minus phi. L cos of 
theta minus phi and I'm going to differentiate this with respect to phi so we have a minus sine of theta minus phi and again differentiation of that would be minus 1 plus cos of theta minus phi and dl by d phi this is what we have now simplifying this dl by d phi is equal to so we have minus of uh, l sine of theta minus phi divided by minus l sine theta minus phi divided by cos of theta minus phi this is what we have as dl by d phi and now we need da by d phi right for getting da by d phi i'll be using equation one so using one using equation one we have a is equal to g cos phi so da by d phi is going to be g times g is constant this is minus sine phi is what we have okay now let me call these things as equation 4 and 5 this is equation 4 this is equation 5 so using equation 4 and 5 in equation 3 using 4 and 5 in 3 then we have a using 3 we have a times of dl by d phi equals l times of da by d phi so a as it is dl by d phi is minus l tan of theta minus phi minus l tan of theta minus phi that's what we have for dl by d phi okay using equation 4 i'm writing this using 4 using 4 we have got that and da by d phi is minus g sine theta sorry minus g sine phi l times minus g sine phi this is what we have now we can simplify the factors we can cancel few things minus l minus l getting cancelled out so we have acceleration being equal acceleration into tan of theta minus phi equals g sine phi now again using equation using equation one we can write a is nothing but g cos phi right g cos phi tan of theta minus phi equals g sine phi so simplify the factors we can get tan of theta minus phi equals tan phi which implies theta minus phi can be equal to phi and 2 phi equals theta so phi equals theta by 2 this is the condition we got okay right now if we know that phi should be equal to theta by 2 for an extremum then we are going to substitute that value in our equation 2 to get a condition on l okay so using 2 using 2 we have l equals h cos theta divided by cos of theta minus phi this is what we had from equation 2 from equation 2 we have this and now, just now we realized that phi is nothing but theta by 2 so using that information turns out of cos of theta by 2 or which is of course equal to cos theta h into cos theta times secant of theta by 2 that is our l so this is the required solution and we'll check out the options now and of course we have an option d for that okay so dear students i hope you understood this problem meaning it is relatively simple but i hope you understood this if you have any doubts please feel free to put that in the comment section thank you